Got the message there. Well, a leaked report from the NBN has brought transparency to the way the company monitors its rollout of the network. Covering costs, connections and delays, the data is comprehensive, but what does it all mean? NBN maintains it's still on track to meet all of its targets and it's backed by its minister, Mitch Firefield, who we spoke to a short time ago. Mitch Firefield, welcome back. This uh, leaked report from the NBN has a mine a field of data in there, uh, really looking at all the metrics behind the company, and at least some are suggesting that this project must be ringing alarm bells internally. Is that your take-out? Well, I, I know that uh, journalists, understandably, uh, uh, hyperventilate and get sweaty palms whenever uh, there is in uh, the offing uh, a supposedly uh, leaked internal document. But uh, the good news is that the NBN uh, is on track. Uh, we have uh, 1.8 million premises around the country uh, who can access the NBN. We have about 820,000 people uh, who've taken up uh, that opportunity. Uh, it stands in contrast uh, with uh, the Labor Party, who only had about 51,000 of people who actually hooked up to the NBN and spent about $6 billion uh, to make the NBN available to about 2% of the population. So uh, the NBN uh, is going well. So on track, but on track towards what? Just their targets for this year? Well, the NBN corporate plan is uh, uh, the most uh, comprehensive uh, document uh, that has been prepared to date. Uh, and NBN uh, has, uh, over the last uh, six quarters, uh, met every milestone in the corporate plan. Uh, under Labor, uh, they only met 15 per cent uh, of their rollout. So uh, NBN is on track uh, to have 2.6 uh, million premises uh, available, uh, ready for service uh, this financial year. Uh, they're on track to have uh, a million uh, people activate and actually uh, be part of the NBN. So uh, NBN is tracking well. You can take a supposedly um, uh, leaked uh, internal document uh, out of context uh, and present something that uh, uh, looks very different to the reality of how the NBN is tracking. What about a core part of the Coalition's design or the Coalition's version of the NBN, which is the nodes? Now, they appear to be uh, having problems with getting power supply to them and the cost per home appears, according to this document, to be running some 20% over their own estimates. Are there problems with the nodes? Well, I, I meet with uh, NBN management uh, on, on a weekly basis um, and I'm advised that in relation to uh, the issue of uh, power and utilities, uh, there were some issues. Uh, those have been addressed. Uh, the NBN is on track. Uh, but uh, something that is a fact uh, is that uh, the cost of connection uh, under fibre to the node is half. Uh, what Labor's connection of fibre to the premises was. I mean, I think there's this uh, mythology out there that somehow uh, the NBN uh, under Labor was the, the national Nirvana network, that uh, everything was going well. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, it was behind time. It was over budget. Uh, Malcolm Turnbull, as communications minister, brought order to bear where there was chaos. Uh, Stephen Conroy uh, didn't take a technological approach to the NBN. He took a theological approach. Uh, what we have done with our multi-technology mix uh, is be agnostic Whatever is the technology that will see the NBN rolled out the fastest uh, and at lowest cost is what we'll do. As a result, the NBN will be rolled out six to eight years sooner and at $30 billion less cost than the Labor plan. Sure, but isn't it the case that the fibre is still doing a lot of the heavy lifting? A lot of these stats that you're able to point to, connections, premises, past, are in fact the original fibre design, not some of the newer technologies that NBN have grabbed hold of since the coalition came in? Oh, look, NBN uh, uh, has made uh, good progress uh, in the planning and the preparation of uh, fibre to the node. Uh, we're going to have uh, hundreds of thousands uh, of uh, premises uh, ready for service uh, using fibre to the node uh, this financial year. Uh, that is good news. And one of the other reasons why we're able to roll out the NBN much faster than our predecessors is because we're making use of things that are currently available, like the HFC network. Uh, Labor paid about $9 uh, billion to Telstra and about $800 million to Optus to not use that network without paying an additional dollar uh, we were able to get access uh, to that uh, network. So uh, that's good. And cost? What about the cost estimates? Have you any reason to think that they won't be contained within the current corporate plan limits? Uh, look, 
everything uh, that, uh, that is known uh, has been factored into uh, the current corporate plan. Uh, so uh, in terms of uh, revenue uh, and in terms of expenditure, uh, NBN are confident that they're on track. Uh, but I think the revenue figures in, in some of this suggested that they're, they're not on track. What, what gives you that confidence? Well, there are ebbs and flows uh, in, uh, in a project of, of this scale and this dimension. So uh, if you take a, uh, an individual um, document, um, uh, supposedly uh, an internal document, uh, and take that out of context, uh, you can get a, a very wrong picture of how the NBN in aggregate uh, is rolling out. It's rolling out extremely well. All right, so the next measure that we all see publicly will be what, the, the end of year results? And you're saying that the annual targets will be met there. That's that's now, what, three, four months away? Yeah, things are, things are tracking uh, well. Um, ultimately, uh, what the public should uh, judge us on uh, isn't uh, newspaper reports from uh, the Herald who uh, didn't bother to contact anyone in government for some context. Um, what they should ultimately judge us on is not pieces like that. Uh, they should judge us on the actual rollout of the NBN. All right, and just finally and briefly, in uh, your portfolio, you've got some media ownership laws going to uh, the party room of the coalition tomorrow and then presumably into the parliament. By when do you want those passed by the parliament? Look, I'm very keen uh, to get going on media reform. This is something that has been uh, debated and debated and debated. Uh, not just for years, but bordering on uh, decades. Uh, it's time to move. Uh, reach rule, uh, two out of three rule, uh, I think they're redundant. Uh, we want to have good local content protections uh, and I want to introduce legislation uh, as soon as we can. And past this side of the election? Uh, well, I, I, that's my objective, uh, is to pass legislation uh, this side of the election, absolutely. And we're all looking for signs about when that might be, but we'll leave questions on that for another time. Mitch Fyfield, thank you. Thanks very much, Greg.